Yellow After the Rain is one of the most overplayed marimba solos ever. Yellow After the Rain, speedrun, any percent glitchless, 157.830, world record. <laughs> That's pretty quick. <laughs> That's just too good. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam and it's time for the first ever Let's Watch of 2022. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Bradley Crowley, Sunshine Han, Scott Raider, Greg Harris, Dean P. Newberger, Retro Percussion, Wendy Tran. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's feature studio artist is Ivan Sakharov. Thank you so much for joining the studio artist team. If you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash and ten, or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. Hope you've been well, hope you've been staying safe. I hope you've enjoyed the two new releases on my channel that are Sword Shield, the new duo with Marimba and Vibraphone, and also Violet my brand new and first ever vibraphone solo. If you haven't checked out any of those videos, they're down in the description below. So yeah, if you're new to my channel and if you haven't already hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads, I have this segment called Let's Watch where we watch videos submitted by you guys on my Discord server that is antenpercussion.com forward slash Discord. That is where you submit any videos you'd like to be featured on this channel. And yeah, I really enjoy watching these videos with you and I really enjoy just seeing something different on the channel. And speaking of something different, the first submission from today is from B2 Sus4 and the submission is Yellow After the Rain Speedrun Any Percent Glitchless 157.830 World Record Man, I, I've been waiting for somebody to make a speedrun of Marimba Music And wow, 157 is actually pretty quick I think Yellow After the Rain is usually about 2.5 to 3 minutes So let's watch <laughs> Okay, here's the video from Colin I'm pretty sure we've featured Colin before on the channel And I'm very used to seeing this uh, <laughs> Pixelated camera up and that's a really big marimba. I think that's a Yamaha 5 octave YM5100 Maybe or it might be a 4 and a 3rd version. I can't tell it's kind of cut off This is a really great aesthetic for a yellow after the rain speed run. Are you guys ready? I'm so keen for this now I'm sure most of the people watching know what yellow after the rain is But if you don't yellow after the rain is one of the most overplayed marimba solos ever If you've ever watched my tier list videos, you can check it out over here It's always at the bottom of the tier list because quite frankly, I think there are better people pieces out there, especially given that Yellow After the Rain is just really old. <laughs> it's like super, super old. It's a good exercise piece, but it's not really like a performance piece. It's kind of like the, I don't know, Packerville's canon of Marimba. <laughs> so it's really nice and kind of satisfying to see a speed run of this performance. Yep. Alright, we got some camera shake. Alright, let's go. I expect this to be quick. It's kind of even got the timer in the corner. <laughs> That's pretty quick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, accuracy is pretty good. Go, 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 go. Whoa, whoa. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That scale run was immaculate. Alex. I like how we changed the tempo for these laterals. <laughs> laterals could probably be a little bit bigger. But hey, the accuracy is like almost 100%. This isn't any percent speed run, but still. It's mad impressive. Don't do the writ, don't do the writ. No, you no, doing the writ. No! <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's the, the trick, is to just not do any writs. Writs kill your time. <laughs> yeah! Okay. <laughs> Let's go. So <laughs> that 
the nonchalant face and he was like That is too good. That's just too good. <laughs> I think that might just be the greatest Marimba solo speedrun of all time. I was saying, this is actually fully serious. Like, the accuracy was actually pretty decent. I didn't think there was that many problems with it. It was very accurate. Yeah, it was actually really together and the technique was not too bad. There was a little bit of tension in the laterals and also the the double verticals. Uh, there's a little bit of wrist tension in the grip, but this is still a very decent speed run of the piece. I think this should be a thing. I mean, obviously I don't endorse playing pieces fast just for the sake of playing them fast for like serious performances. I don't think people should go into exams or juries being like, okay, guess what? <laughs> Have I got the speed run for you? But I do think there should be like a separate part of Marimba YouTube that is literally just speed runs of everything. So I would love to see speed runs of Merlin. <laughs> okay, maybe not Merlin, but surely like Ghost Garden. Like Ghost Garden, someone could easily rip through Ghost Garden in like a minute 20. No problem. This should totally be a thing. Let me know down in the comments below if you think Marimba speedruns should totally be a thing. Or let me know if I should do a Marimba speedrun. Maybe I should play a piece like, I don't know, mm, Calm Variations at 200% speed. <laughs> but yeah, actually fully serious. I'm mad impressed. That was really, really cool. If you're on my Discord server, please submit me some more speed runs. <laughs> that was awesome. Anyway, so if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. Let's move on to the second submission. The second submission is actually in our Let's Watch feedback channel. And this is a channel that we've created on the studio family for people who want feedback on their performances, whether it's from me or from other people on the server. And this particular one is from Ethan, okay, Apex Monkey. And it is halfway through Hope. I think he's referring to my piece hope hey i'd like some feedback on this i'm about halfway through it i only have 26 measures left to learn wow i think this is really cool you know as i said in my previous video which is five things that you should prepare for this year if you haven't already checked it out it's over there it's a really important thing to be open to criticism to feedback because this helps you grow as a player sometimes there are things that you just don't notice and i think this is something that i just did not do enough when i was in university and high school so i'm really happy to see this let's watch Okay, here's the video and we can see um, this looks like a synthetic marimba maybe because it's so black. Um, the hallway of a school. <laughs> I used to play marimba in hallways too when there was no practice rooms. In fact, I used to play the Yamaha 5 octave at my university in the garden <laughs> because there was no practice room. There was only one practice room for about seven people. So I just played outside. But yeah, here we have some mallets that I don't recognize. Is that, is that bottom one of Nancy Zoltzman? I'm not too sure that the middle one looks like it could be Mike Bolter. Um, I'm just gonna skip through the video a little bit. Oh yeah, okay, I can see there's some tape on the mouth. So that's some really nice taping. That looks very professional. I like the little accent taping too. That's exactly my style of taping. Okay, let's have a look. I'll see if there's anything to comment on, um, but this might just be a really good performance. Okay. Okay, that's definitely synthetic. I like your spacing. I think you could be a little bit more gentle on those notes. And probably lift them up a little bit more. Okay, pause for a second. Okay, so um, this part of my piece has a one-handed roll in the right hand. And he's, he's kind of doing like a shake roll. So to get that one-handed roll, all you have to do is just play Ladder 3-4-3-3-3-4-3-4 three, four, three, 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 four, three, four. And it's okay when you're first learning the piece to try If you're not too confident of one-handed rolls Just try rolling it um, metrically Just going in six themes And if that doesn't work Then you'll have to probably work on your one-handed roll um, Easy ways to work on one-handed rolls Just start on a practice pad Going 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a pyramid sort of thing. I'm sure you've seen this hundreds of times from different educators. Uh, you can do it also with just your hand. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 etc. Um, just to get that looseness in the wrist and that way you'll be able to sort of autonomously do that one handed roll over time. That's how I started. I don't even remember what the first piece was. I think it was Takata by 
and uh, Ignis Wix, that was like the first piece I learned that had one-handed rolls. So yeah, just doing that will help a lot. It seems like his grip is pretty legit, so I don't think it's the grip that's the problem, it's just getting used to the technique of one-handed rolls. And a lot of people ask me, why did I put a one-handed roll in a piece like Hope, where it seems like it's a pretty simple piece? The answer is because it was written for a Marimba Fest competition, uh, Marimba Fest 2021 actually, last year, this was the compulsory work. So we wanted the participants to showcase different skills and the one-handed roll, I feel like is a pretty important skill to have in Marimba. So it was put in there. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I'd say the first few notes at the beginning. In, in hope they should really be like sparkly and spaced out. Dum dum. <gasps> dum dum. Like you're really just stretching that space out. Otherwise, it just sounds kind of quick. Nice. Okay. The run from the bottom is good. I like that you've memorized it as well. Probably can lift the right hand a little bit more when you're hitting those notes. Try and get some more air. You'll find your notes won't be so harsh. Okay. That's really good actually. Uh, I really like that you brought out the melody in the top. Dun, 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 dun. Um, and you didn't let it get lost with all the accompaniment, which is really great. That's actually the sole purpose of this piece is to help with uh, people's voicing. I'd say just be careful of your bar placement. Sometimes you're hitting the accidentals directly over the string and then it's giving that sort of uneven resonance like that. Uh, duh, uh, duh. So just move the mallet inwards a little bit towards the resonator and you'll get a nice clean sound. Oh, it sounds really nice <laughs> for an acoustic. Just check some of your left hand notes. Nice, okay. Good voicing, yep. I like the little time stretch as well. Check your left hand, yep. It's not a B. That's not a B flat. <laughs> it's a B natural. I think that is actually really decent. I think that section, the voicing sounds great. The only thing is the note accuracy is a bit off. So just check the left hand a little bit. You've got some weird notes like that B flat. <laughs> But otherwise, yeah, it's pretty nice. I'd say you can take it a little bit slower. This piece is not supposed to be a <laughs> speed run. It's not meant to be fast. So just take it a little bit slower uh, and enjoy the process of just floating those notes over your accompaniment. Because yeah, you have a really nice tone and the, it's helped also by the fact that this is a synthetic instrument. Sometimes synthetic instruments sound really nice for this kind of nice music. Oh, okay, we got <laughs> a bit of memory lapse. Yep, it's just the same thing, but with three notes. Yeah, that's a D sharp, not a C sharp. That's not a B flat, man. <laughs> nice. Cool. Okay, so yeah, good progress so far. I'd say that's a really, really healthy start, especially because you're trying to memorize it as you go, which is really great. I don't think anyone should necessarily play hope with sheet music. I think that's a bit of a waste of time. But yeah, I think the main thing is just to keep going, uh, keep doing it in small chunks and try and work on that one-handed roll at the beginning so that you can get a nice at the start and everything is gonna be great. So yeah, if you ever need any sort of help on Marimba stuff, whether it's my pieces, any other pieces, doesn't really matter. You can always submit it on our Discord at discussion.com forward slash Discord under the Let's Watch feedback category. But yeah, for the last couple of weeks, I've just been working on the new pieces, as you know, Sword, Shield, and Violet, which are fully out now on all platforms, including hard copies from Edition Switzer as well. I also released We Are Heroes and Dream on Edition Switzer as well, which means you'll be able to use them for assessment purposes in certain countries. I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much for watching today's episode and I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. Set me free.